if you're really persuasive and you're able to talk really well and you have a you have like a silver tongue, you know, you can get your way and almost like be a covert villain before you are like a true villain. Like uh, an example that I have is is in a show and it's like a it's like a crime cop show. It's called Justified. It's kind of old. It's been out for a while. Uh, but Boyd Crowder, he's a character in there and he's like, he's got like a Southern draw and he's just really good with words and getting people to like see his side of things, even if it's like corrupt. And it's like, he's a smooth criminal. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the noise so, that well, but yeah, no, I haven't heard of either that show or I, I, I can't. I don't know who that actor is. That's okay. That but is okay. yeah, I mean, persuasive skills is definitely, I think, like a key feature most villains need because you need to have some type of following as a villain. Because I, I can't really think of any villain that, like, really works totally independently. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. There is always the henchman. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. Does he? Uh, no, I think he had he had peeps too. Yeah, I'm didn't he sure. have a? Ah, maybe I'm, that's gonna drive me. Nuts. Maybe Doomsday or whatever his name was. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> they, I, um, I feel like at some point in any villain that has been created, none of them are at all independent completely. Like, I mean, they all have so- something. <laughs> Just like so wrong answer. <laughs> Thanos, he was alone. Yeah, uh, totally. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, thinking about it now, I don't. I, don't... I know, I know. Uh, we should have prepped. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to think about <laughs> that one. Yeah, me too. Y'all, y'all can also, you know. Yeah, if you guys know of any independent villains in any films or anything that you've seen, please let us know. Oh, I know independent villains. Oh, Serial killers. 